My dad was a desert rat. His life was saved by a mess tin. He had it over his face, licking a bit of mince. <laughs> Sniper's bullet could have had his jaw. He's had a marvellous life. He's been married twice, taught himself the ukulele. <laughs> and you bring your sandwiches to work. Unbelievable. You don't mean it. It seems to be put Pam Ayres on the radio instead of Charlie Chester. <laughs> Trailing greenery for the reception, but Keith's anti Ivy. I didn't know Keith had an anti Ivy. <laughs> did I say about the extra tea for the fourth floor? Yeah. Yeah, I did, didn't I? Okay then, see you later. I don't know how long I'm going to be, okay? No, that's fine. I hope it's not too good luck anyway. I'll need it. There's only one woman's realm in that waiting room, and I'm having it. <laughs> no, good luck, though. Cheers. We still got to agree about the music. Bren, your mother. Wait, are oh, you on your own? Yeah, I'm just with Jean. <laughs> no, that's fine, darling. You just need to be a bit cautious now. Have you got any of that disinfectant spray? Oh, well. Hello, Jean, love. I just need a little more so my darling could have a cloth now. How are you keeping Jean? Gorgeous shade on your hair, by the way. Well, it looks quite Oh, and don't I emphasize they stress you out big time? Well, that's good. <laughs> I had to organize one on Honolulu Island for one of the West Indian cricketers, and by God, it was a fantastic success. But I lost all the feeling down my left hand side from the strain. Brenda, <laughs> next time you're at the supermarket, love, can you pop this into one of the wheelie bins around the back? You mustn't wear a little bit, love. No one must see it, sweetheart. Why, it's not stolen, is it? No, I didn't have that, Chica. <laughs> my days of receiving stolen property to do the boxing fraternity a favour are well gone. I can't remember what I was going to say. Anyway, the phone love it just need to get right. But never mind me. Wedding. I'm just trying to think what to do for the music. Oh, what I used to know a fantastic keyboard player. <gasps> really talented, lovely looking, like a black Frankie Horn. Girls <laughs> flocky, have beautiful slacks, tailored special. But like a lot of very well dressed people, he was gay. Anyway, <laughs> he's in Guernsey now. Strictly speaking, I can't set foot on the Channel Islands. <laughs> Maybe just someone at the piano. Richard Clayderman. Yeah, that type. I can get it. Do you want it? <laughs> He's got a dog. <laughs> he will travel nowhere without this damn dog. Mind you, it's a gorgeous pooch. She acts up. He tried to give me one once. I said, Ricky, I love you, sweetheart. But my lifestyle and a dog's lifestyle pulls apart. <laughs> so you see, you can't just lie over here, Jean. Because if she was. Not that I'm in tears from sure again. Then I can't get on the plane, Bajula. I cannot leave Sheba. I say, Ricky, it's fine. Just go home, have a blue bean, put one of your own records on. I can say that to you. Oh, well, so, sweetheart. Oh, Jean, I'm helping. Don't forget, I was in Beirut with Mandy Rice Davis. I understand entertainment. <laughs> Now, this girl is a fabulous entertainer. No, ignore that. Ignore the drawing. She had these cards done on the motorway. <laughs> she must have pressed the wrong button. <laughs> but you see, as well as the stripping, she plays the accordion. Oh, I like this. Who is she just like a normal type of accordionist? She is lovely. Very modest to look at, actually. Peter Pan Collins. She knows all the lovely old tunes. Agadoo, <laughs> Coconut Airways, <laughs> Shaft. <laughs> so, what shall we do then? Shall we call her? Shall we take the car? No, I better hang on to that. I'll call her for you. Sometimes you get quite rough people answering these phones. Yeah, but you might not remember to do it, Mum. Don't break my heart, Bren. Let me help. I'll be back in Romania tomorrow at the orphanage ladder with an emotion brush. <laughs> Let me do this for... What's your daughter's name? Lisa. There you are. The little baby they wouldn't let me adopt. Little Lisa Louise. I said, what sort of future is she going to have here? You've got a bottle in the place. They just stamped adoption refused. 
on the papers. I said, you're stamping those letters on my heart. <laughs> Let me do this for all our babies. Can you let me have a cup of the sausage that you eat? <laughs> Dolly, we need one more platter D for the top floor. They're having a think tank. Oh, nobody's brought me those brown rolls yet. Where's Norman? Where's Anita? She's gone for counselling with that Philippa woman. She's upset. She was upset. That coleslaw was diabolical. Tell me, can I use the problem? No. Oh, it's about the brown made Nick. Go on, then. <laughs> Two five to dial out. Shutter's going up two minutes. She was upset about the sex duplex. She's getting a period. I've heard it all before, Brent. No need to call it a period. <laughs> Has Norman not brought them rolls, Dolly? Oh, no, he wouldn't come up the stairs. He had a panic attack coming. He was going for the fit of his van as a precaution. A precaution against doing any bloody work. <laughs> Stan, nip down and see if there's any brown rolls down by the bins, will you? Norman split again. Roger will call. What did you say about sex duplex? Anita, I left her a message. Plain white, high waist, low leg. Sex duplex? Nice made knickers. <laughs> Just left. Anybody could have had them. Then what? Stealing mopeds, hitting women in their own homes with golf trophies. <laughs> no, one's having a panic attack, Sam. Ten years ago, nobody had heard of panic attacks. And if they had, bloody bread men didn't have them. <laughs> Redmen had Barracker's veins and fags behind their ears. What's the soup? On the menu it just says soup. Twain, what's the soup? Minestrone. Why don't you put it on the menu? Can't spell it. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Mum, I've just left you a message. So I'm not there, am I? Well, they won't do. Is it all gravy? Who's on gravy? Anita. You carry on, mate. I'll bring some over, okay? Can you tell me which one Jean is, please? Jean! Hello. You looking for entertainment for your wedding? Oh, yeah. I do. Bride, police, and we're traffic boarding gladiators and gypsy Mosley. I can't be touched. I won't flip on laps and I won't mingle. <laughs> That would be naked. You chop a nipple. Is <laughs> that what you want in an accordionist? Yeah. Right. I'll phone my granddaddy, please. Bye. Oh, is that Jean? And can she make gravy? A stripper. She'll never have needed to then. Jane, I want you. I want you. Where's Anita? She's lying down. It's dinner time. I'm a bunch short now. I didn't think she'd be able to concentrate. She doesn't need to concentrate. Someone says a pie, you give them a pie. <laughs> you know, could concentrate and go palmy. I really think you should be sensitive to a woman's hormonal ebb and flow. Well, I am, believe me. Look, I'm not a dinosaur. I quite like women in a sad battle sort of way. <laughs> so can we please get a grip? Out of a workforce of five, at any given moment, one will have premenstrual tension, one's panicking because she's not, someone's having a hot flush, and someone else is having a nervous breakdown because her HRT patch has fallen in the minestrone. That was a one-off. <laughs> I mean, as much as I love working in a woman's support group, the cold fact is, this is a bloody canteen. Have you ever thought of Scottish country dancing? <laughs> It's a work-related gathering, can I just ask? It's a melting pot, Stan. We're just going to toss ideas into the pot. It's a toss pot. <laughs> so what I'll do very quickly is just...